Hello, hello friends, hello for the whole developers and welcome to API Flow YouTube channel. My name is Andre and today we will talk about a new feature in uh, Flutterfall, which is called the bug panel. And I will uh, show you a uh, few tricks uh, how you can use it for your everyday work for uh, development of uh, projects in Flutterfall. So this feature just dropped uh, and uh, like, uh, to be honest, I was waiting for it a very long time and it's like very, very important uh, feature to um, be able to build data rich applications. And as you know, I'm focused on uh, integrations on how you can uh, connect external data, how you can send data to some services, how you can build a really integrated full features application with feature rich uh, interface in Flutterfall. So now this tool, uh, the back panel will allow us to see a lot of what happening in our application. As you remember before, we will force to use like developer tools in browser and check console log and see like some, some errors here and etc. and etc. Now, uh, Flutterfall start to move to uh, provide a really like debug time, test time, ability to check what's going on with your application. And it's great. You can see this panel at this side. At left side, you can uh, drag it around, I suppose. So you can you can can put it where you need it. And uh, I will show you today a few tricks about what you can do using this panel, how you can track state of your application and how you can use it to work with the APIs. So first of all, uh, application we will uh, work in is we will try this debug panel is uh, very simple, uh, one page application at the moment. It's a demo I built in one of the uh, latest videos. You can find it now on channel and I have here carousel and I have here list view with some data that I download through uh, API flow. We connected here API uh, to our project, to API calls and to API groups. And we have some data types, brand and car data type. And I will show you how you can actually use the bug panel to see what's happening in your application. So the bug panel for now have only one tab, it's variables tab, but uh, for future releases, Flutterfall team already announced that it will contain much more like ability to see more parameters, ability to uh, track uh, different data, ability to uh, see some internal stuff going on and about uh, Flutter code and etc. So it will be much more, uh, much more, uh, uh, data rich in the future. But for now, it allows us to track a few sections. Uh, it's page state of our uh, application. It's state that, uh, uh, that uh, relate to this page we are currently at. Some widgets provide widget state because like, for example, if I have some scene, uh, some, some uh, features that can be changed, some properties that can be changed in my widget, it will be shown here, but not all, only like some important uh, properties uh, for, a mom for the moment and some global properties like screen, screen views, screen K and etc. platform and etc. Uh, etc. Et so uh, what I want to show you actually how you can use it for API debug, how you can use it to check what's going on with our data returned from my API as I am API guy, I like more uh, to use it for tracking what's going on with my data related to API. So here I have uh, two page state variables and I will explain uh, you about them. I don't use, I actually don't use these cars at least uh, for now, but uh, I use selected brand and selected brand, what is it? Uh, when we select something in our carousel, as you can see, selected brand sets to this parameter and later on click, when we, when we click, we send it to, uh, to our uh, database request. And this database request is attached 
to our list view and we use this brand to uh, filter our cars list so now we can see if it works correct we can not only visually uh, visually uh, approves that it works correct we can see also what value it receives so cool great now we see how it works for what i use these cars list variable uh, as you can see it's not utilized yet but i created it for purpose that i want to see actually what data is extracted from uh, my api backend and uh, what cars actually at the moment is displayed in my application so uh, what is an issue usually you can use a uh, test feature here to work with your uh, api calls but when you are in runtime in test mode you don't see what data is returned i hope in the future Flutterfall team will introduce some tools that will allow you to see everything that's going on in your application in test mode but for now like this all api calls is hidden from you so to see this data we will do a little trick using a new debug panel so first of all what i need to do i will wrap my list view in additional widget because list view by itself will not allow me to track data attached to its uh, data query i don't know why but that's how it is so we will wrap it into container and we will move this uh, we will move this uh, list cars query to our parent container so let's attach api call list cars and we will use brand as a filter page state selected brand and now i will add also um, i will also okay 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 here so now i have this uh data query data query attached to my container and i can remove it from here I remove it from here and now i need to fix my everything here uh i need to uh, use this cars response okay save and i will need to fix my uh i will need to fix my action container okay so now we have it attached to container and for list view i will use for example this image and I will add click uh, tab uh, action and here I will use state management update page state and view set into a cars list set value result of my cars list response I don't have another uh, like I don't have another uh, event because page load is not usable at this moment so I will use just a click on image to track what actually the da what data was loaded uh, to query in my container and now when i will refresh my application i must see these changes so yeah we have my application loaded okay as you can see it's like the brand is not selected and the uh, cache list is empty I click here and I will see all the data that is loaded into my cars list and as you can see I can see the list of my uh, all of my items and it's very usable because I can see if it changes when I select for example Tesla and click here I have only Tesla cars here so everything worked as expected and you can actually save any data into page state page state is local page state so it will be not shared in your application and when you don't need it you can just remove it uh, i mean when before moving to uh, uh, production you can just remove these variables fix everywhere you set them and use your application for production so this is very cool feature to debug how data 
change for your application and what's going on at this moment with returned API calls data and you can see all data now in details here in uh, debug panel. So this is very usable instrument, very usable tool and I hope Flutterfall team will continue to uh, develop it to provide the new features, to provide a new depth of ability to uh, debug your application and do our work even more efficient. I hope this video will be useful. Uh, please let me know about the new topics you want to see covered in our videos. We work now on new services and I will uh, record a new tutorials soon. So be efficient, be healthy, and have a nice day.